Okay, sixth grade lesson 102. This is on mass and weight. Now, let me explain the difference between mass and weight, okay? Mass is the amount of matter that makes up my body or makes up this eraser, whatever's inside of it. The, the mass is what's made it up, what's it made of, okay? The weight is how much it weighs. Okay, so there are two different types of measurements, okay? Mass is what makes it weigh something because it's whatever is made up of. Okay, I have muscles, bones, water, um, whatever else that makes up my body. And those are all different things that build into my mass, the amount that's in there, okay? Now, let me explain this to you. Um, for example, one grain... Of course, I'm going to pull out a bunch. There's probably about 30 right there. One grain of salt, do you know how much it weighs? That's good. <laughs> it weighs um, one milligram. One milligram, and I'm going to put a little dot for my grain of salt. That's how much it weighs is one milligram. All right? I don't have a paper clip, but imagine a paper clip that you stick on your paper. Okay? Guess how much it weighs? It weighs one gram, a paper clip. Okay, see my paper clip? It, it weighs one gram, this weighs one milligram. So guess how many grains of salt you have to hold in your hand to equal the weight of a paper clip? A thousand. A thousand of these grains of salt, little bit pieces of salt, a thousand of them to equal the weight of one paper clip. Okay, and then if I took this math book, feel how heavy it is? Mm -hmm. Okay, this math book weighs one kilogram. That's my math book. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay, that's my math book. It weighs one kilogram. So, how many paper clips would I, clips would I need to equal the book? A thousand paper clip, clips will weigh the same as this book, okay? Just to let you know the difference. It's about a thousand in between each of them. It takes a thousand of this to equal this, a thousand of this to equal this, got it? Okay, now, let me explain this to you. Um, did you know that the mass of an object never changes? What makes my body up always is gonna be the same thing that keeps making up my body. I'm always going to have muscles. Now, I can lose less muscle and lose less water in my body, so it makes my weight less, okay? But imagine if I went to the moon up in space. Did you know that gravity makes weight change? Did you know that? So, a man that weighs 154 um, pounds on Earth, when he goes to space, guess how much he weighs? Zero. Now, did his mass change? No. No, because he still has muscles and bones that make up 154 pounds. But his weight changes. So mass never changes. Weight can change. Got it? Okay. Now, um, we're not used to doing milligram, grams, and kilogram. We use pounds, right, to weigh things, um, which is okay. But everybody else in the world uses grams, kilograms, and milligrams to weigh things. Okay, now here's another example, and these, I'm going to put these in, um, these are in the, uh, what do I call them, uh, everywhere else in the world um, system that they use, and this is the USA, the United States customary system. So we're going to talk about ounces, pounds, and tons, okay? For example, this envelope. It is one ounce. So I'm going to put a little envelope right here. There's my envelope. It weighs one ounce. Okay? A pound. I'm not going to take off my shoe. But if I put a shoe up here, okay? That's beautiful. Okay? There's my shoe. <laughs> it weighs one, one pound, a shoe does, approximately. Now, every shoe is different, but they're just kind of going average about. Okay? And a ton is if i got a car, okay? It weighs a ton, all right? 
See the difference in an ounce, a pound, and a ton? Mm -hmm. It's quite a big difference, okay? Now, let me tell you some measures that I want you to know. I want you to write on your paper, when we're talking about the, the world and their measurements and what they use, one thing I want you to remember is that 1,000 milligrams is the same thing as one gram, which I kind of talked about that because if I have a thousand grain of salt, what does it equal? One gram. One gram. So a thousand milligrams, a thousand grain of salt equals one gram. You need to write that, that figure down, okay? Another one you need to know is that a thousand grams equals one kilogram. Okay, now I told you these measures earlier, but I didn't actually have you write them down. I probably should have. Okay, so a thousand grams, a thousand of these paper clips equal the weight of this math book. A thousand grams equals one kilogram. Did you write that one down too? Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's move down to the U.S., all right? And here's the two measures I want you to write down on this one. Sixteen ounces, OZ is for ounce, and I'm going to put a line in between the Z. So everybody know that that's not a two. That's what a lot of people people do. A lot of people do that. So 16 ounces equals one pound, and pounds abbreviation is LB, something to do with Latin. Okay, LB. So 16 ounces equals one pound. So how many envelopes do we need to weigh the the amount of a shoe? A thousand. Well, look, one ounce is one. 16, ounces, 16 is ounces is one pound. So if an envelope is one ounce, yeah, 16. I would need 16 envelopes to equal a pound, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Now, let's move to the next one. Okay, this is not something you would just know. The next one is 2,000 pounds equals one ton. So I would need 2,000 shoes to equal the car amount, okay. how much of a car weighs. 2,000 pounds is a ton. Now, do you see how everything in the, everybody else in the world, everything's 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, it moves very easily. Mm -hmm. One milligram, you'd equal 1,000 grams. 1,000 grams equals one kilogram. Here, you have all kind of different numbers, 16, one, 2,000. They're not, there's no like clear indication. Now, this is what we're used to, so you hear this a lot more, pounds and ounces and stuff like that. But it would be a lot easier if we went by the rest of the world. It, it, it measures easier to our yeah. brain. Okay? So those are some information. Did you write those down? Yeah. Okay, good stuff. Now, I'm going to ask you some questions, and I want you to tell me what your answer is. Two kilograms is how many grams? Okay. Kilogram. Two thousand. Two thousand. Because one kilogram equals how much? One thousand. A thousand grams. So two kilogram would equal two thousand grams. That would be your answer. Good job. All right. Let me do another one. Ready? Now this time. They're gonna have you add something. So ready, I have seven pounds, LB is pounds, 12 ounces, 12 pounds, I'm sorry, seven pounds, 12 ounces, and then I'm gonna add two pounds and six ounces to whatever I'm measuring. Seven pounds. Okay, so now stay with me. Let's, you have to do this in two separate measures. You're going to add your ounces, and then you're going to add your pounds. I have 18 ounces. Okay. Which 16 equals one pound. Right. Let's do that in just a minute. But you're okay. exactly right. You're good, doing good. Good job. Okay, so let's go ahead and add this. Seven and two is, is nine. nine pounds. Now, you're exactly right. We need to take 16 of these and move it over. To one. So, yeah. So it would be so, 10 and two ounces. Right. So let's minus 16 will give us two ounces left, right? Mm -hmm. And if I bring the 16 ounces over here to, to convert it into pounds, nine pounds plus one more pound would give me 10 pounds. Two so the answer would be 10 pounds and two ounces. 
Good job. You knew what to do even before I did it. Good job. All right, and last problem. We're going to do another, but this one's going to be subtracting. All right, so ready? Write this one down. Okay. Nine pounds, 10 ounces. I'm going to put my earrings in there. Okay. Um, and they're wanting me to subtract 7 pounds and 12 ounces. Now, when you're subtracting, it makes it a little bit harder. Okay, do we have to take away nine pounds, have eight pounds, 16 plus 10? Good job, he did it exactly right. Because I can't take 12 from 10, I have to come over here and borrow a pound, and when I bring the pound over here and convert it into ounces, it's 16 ounces, that pound was. And so 16 plus 10 makes, 26 ounces. Now, can I subtract it? Yes. Yeah. So, so 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26 is 14. 14. Good job. 14 ounces, exactly right. And then 7 from 8 is 1. So the answer would be 1 pound, 14 ounces. Okay? Now, when you were born, guess how much you weighed? Nine pounds. Nine pounds and nine ounces. How far away were you from one pound? I mean, I'm sorry, from ten pounds. Uh, seven ounces. Seven ounces. So, you were seven envelopes weight short of ten pounds. So... You almost weighed um, 10 pounds. Take away seven more envelopes. That's how much a difference is. Okay, that's how much difference you weighed. So it's not that much, honestly. Seven envelopes weighs nothing, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so your brother was nine pounds, 15 ounces. How many envelopes away was he? One. <laughs> So, you were seven envelopes less, and he was one envelope less than 10 pounds. Yeah. The weight. <laughs> kind of funny. Okay, that is lesson 102.